Hey guys, thanks for joining me. In today's video, I'm excited to show you my take on an extended body Trico Mayfly. I'll be using Togan's Dry Fly Barbless Hooks in size 14. For the body, I'll be using Togan's Tapered Buzzer Quills. You can either use black silver or else Semperfly makes some beautiful quills as well. This is in dun color. And then for the tail segment, I'm using three tail fiber Fibbits, these are new from Semperfly, beautiful product. For the hackle and the wings on this, I'm using some natural grizzly hackle. For the portion of the extended body, I'm using Trilene Big Game, this is 20 pound monofilament. To wrap it all up, none other than Semperfly's Nano Soak, 30 denier, 18 aught, this is white color. And then for a good flexible finish, I like to use Golf. UV resins. This is flex mat. Super cool stuff. So this fly is a little bit more of a technical tie. So I encourage you to uh, pause the video when needed. Take some breaks. Uh, practice, practice, practice. Don't get frustrated. Um, this one has a lot of cool little elements to it, but you want to make sure that your proportions are correct and that these materials work nicely for you. So to start things off, get about a two inch section of the trilene monofilament, get that gripped in your vise, and then um, closer to the vise jaws, I find it easier to start your thread, get that wrap back onto itself, trim away the excess there, and then grab three of these tail fiber fibbits, make sure that they're all the same length, and tie those in just to the top of the hook. And then a cool little trick that I learned from uh, Barry Ord Clark, uh, brilliant tire by the way, I highly encourage you to watch his videos, to so take a little piece of your thread and um, hook that in behind your bobbin, bring that up and separate the left and right fibbits, keeping that center fibbit, and wrap that thread then with a couple of wraps just to get it secured. And then you can pull that nice and tight and it's going to separate the left and right tail fibbit from the center and spread that out nicely. And then we'll clean that up a little bit later. Trim off a little bit extra there. And then lastly, for this extended body segment, we're going to add a uh, perfect quill. This one that I'm using is three millimeter done uh, from Semperfly. If you want a little bit more flash on these flies, you can use the Togan's buzzer quills they make a beautiful one in a silver and black color and then here we're just going to use a couple of half hitches to secure this extended body and make sure that that's not going to go anywhere and then you will add a hook of your choice i like using togan's barbless dry hooks these are nice and light and super sturdy as well and then get that uh, thread wrapped on here nice and secured um, you can leave it still attached to the extended body. That's fine. If you have a little bit of overlap there, it will tie in nicely and, and uh, nothing to worry about there. You want this monofilament uh, extended body just to sit on top of the hook and then take your time to go over it a few times and make sure that it's secured nicely, not going to slip around on you. You can as well add a little bit of crazy glue if you are worried about that coming undone. Um, but this thread, you can really crank on it and uh, get it a nice secure finish there. And then this is where it takes a little bit of dexterity and uh, patience. You're going to start wrapping up that perfect quill. I like to keep a little bit of a tag end on that monofilament piece so that you can hold on to it and grip it nicely. And then you can use your fingernails to make sure that those um, segments of this wrap are evenly spaced. What's nice with these perfect quills is that uh, they have a light adhesive on the back of them so you can unwrap them, rewrap them as needed. You want to make sure to protect it from any uh, any dust or debris or that will 
make uh, the adhesive not stick as nicely. Yeah, that's starting to look really nice. And then once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and do some wraps with your thread in behind and in front of that material just to lock it off and then trim the extra piece out of the way. And then I always like to just do either a half hitch or a couple of turn whip finish. Make sure that I don't knock my bobbin out of the way and unwrap that material. And then take your scissors and you can trim off that monofilament. We're going to clean it up a little bit more at the end, but this is just a little rough quick video gives you an idea of the steps to tie in this pattern. Once you're happy with that, grab your Golf Flexman resin. You just need a tiny little drop of that and uh, work that around. Make sure that it's nice and even, not too goopy, but these things do have a little bit of a taper to them. And then hit it with your UV light. Make sure that it gets nice and cured. This resin does take a little bit longer to cure than, say, uh, a thin or super thin resin. So just to be aware of that and give it a little bit extra time on the torch there. And then for the cool wings of this bug, you can get uh, a bunch of different materials will work. I like using a little bit of this grizzly hackle. This is just a natural color. And I will kind of trim the tips of that hackle. You want just basically a couple of centimeters just to stick up and be prominent above the hackle as you wrap it. So take your time, get used to this method. I like tying it in with the stem facing the butt of this hook, and then you can fold it forward so that you don't have that stem protruding to the eye of this uh, fly as well. A little bit easier to tie it off then. You can do some wraps in between, some figure eights. Make sure that these uh, so-called wings are going to be separate and upright. That looks pretty happy there. And then for my hackle, I like to strip off one side of the hackle and then strip a little bit on that stem to give you a tie-in point. And again, tie it in using the stem towards the rear of this hook. Makes for a nice clean presentation. Wrap your thread back towards this fly. Keep it out of the way as you wrap this. And there we go. That is happy. We are set up for the next step, which is wrapping this hackle. What's nice, if you strip away the uh, half the side of that hackle, it lays down really nicely. All those fibers are in unison. They stick up. They're not all over the place. But you can make this as buggy as you want. The key here is to get a little bit of buoyancy from that hackle, from the monofilament, and those tail fibers really displace the weight of this fly so it sits nicely on top of the water surface. And then you'll wind your thread back through that hackle, making sure that you don't capture too many of those fibers. And then you can do just a couple of half hitches to lock that off at the front of this fly. And then go ahead and trim away that extra piece of hackle as neatly as you can. We're just going to go ahead and trim up a few of the stray fibers of this fly. Like I said, the buggier the better. Um, you can also add a little drop of resin on the head and make sure that those half hitches won't come undone. And then here we're going to take a little bit of time, clean up one more of those fibers, and then I do want to clean up the butt section. That little piece of monofilament has been bugging me. I'm sure it's been bothering each of you as you're watching this fly. Uh, there we go. That looks pretty good there. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you learned something. Be sure to follow me on YouTube there, tying is my vice. We'll see you on the water.